When it comes to building an online course, you do not need to get complicated. You don't need to have some massive production crew or that guy who holds the microphone thing. Kajabi makes it super easy and straightforward to actually build your online course. It's just walking you through the prompts. But when it comes down to actually filming your course, what's the best way to do it? Today, I thought it would be helpful to show you a handful of ways that I have learned how to create and film an online course to be beneficial for your audience and be easy for you as the creator to build yourself. Now, the first most simple easiest and low cost way for us to film our course is to use your phone, Apple, Android, whatever you use, unless you have one of those like dinosaur phones. If you have a basic smartphone, you have access to a phenomenal camera that is high quality. If you want to on Amazon, you can invest in a lapel mic that can plug into your phone, which is between 20 to $30. And you can buy a little stand that you can hold with your phone or a small little tripod of some sort. And then you're pretty much good to go. You'll have really good video quality and audio quality as well. And from there you can Dropbox or drop inside of your Google Drive. And then you can put inside of a free editor like Apple iMovie or DaVinci Resolve or whatever it is that you wanna to use to edit the video. And a pro tip, if you are using an iPhone, Android probably has something very similar to this. When you go into your camera to film, there's an option called cinematic mode. And on cinematic mode, it's basically just going to create depth with your video. So it'll show you really clear and behind you, you're going to have a blurry background, otherwise known as aperture. And what's crazy is typically this used to be done with DSL, DSLR cameras, really fancy ones like a Canon or a Sony or something like that. Now you can actually adjust the aperture as you please. So you can see the background get blurrier as you tone down the aperture number and it's clear when you turn the aperture up. And aperture is a fancy word for depth of view. But what's also crazy cool is that you can change the setting from just HD to 4K and you can also change the frame rate from 30 to 24 frames per second which gives your video a lot more of a cinematic feel which is why the mode is called cinematic. This will make your online course feel a lot more professional, especially when you have a good tripod and a nice lapel mic or some sort of microphone attached to your phone. And it's all done from the phone that you already own. Another pro tip, if you're gonna be using your phone to film your Kajabi course, is to make sure that your phone is horizontal and that you're looking at the lens and you're looking at the camera itself. If you uploaded a vertical video inside of Kajabi, it would look really weird. So just make sure that it's on a quote unquote landscape mode, which is you just filming it horizontal. Another way that you may or may not have thought of to build your online course lessons is to create slides, a slide deck or a slide presentation of some sort. And you can use Keynote if you're using Apple, which is a free software and you can film your presentations inside of that as well, or if you're using PowerPoint or my personal favorite, Google Slides. So I used to do everything on my MacBook, so I obviously used Apple Keynote, but then I switched over to my PC and I like Google Slides because you can access your Google Drive and your Google Slides from any device, anytime, anywhere, even on your phone. To build out your Google Slides, go to your Google Drive, click New, and hit Google Slides. And this is gonna pop up a basic slide builder. So whether you use PowerPoint or Keynote or Google Slides, either one, they're all basically the same. So you just kinda click, you can change up the text, whatever you want, the subtitle, you can add images in the background, and they even have different themes that you can choose from as well like over here, if you like this design. And with each one of these different themes you have, you can always click on the down arrow and they're gonna give you a bunch of different types of slides that come with this theme. So if you wanna add uh, like a section header or one column text, if you wanna have an image over here and then change up the text, you can do that in all these different themes. So basically what we're gonna do is build out, you know, copy, paste, build out all your different slides that you have. We'll just add a couple here. Uh, maybe one more. Let's do this one. So you build out all your different slides and then you get the writing there, the different points, images that you wanna share, et cetera. And then the real question is how do you actually film it? Well, there are a handful of different ways. Basically, you just need a screen recorder. So there are free screen recorders that come with a Mac 
and PC. And you can look up how to actually access this. I'm not gonna go into a bunch of detail on it. Google's your mom, just use Google. Tools that I'd recommend would be Loom or my personal favorite is Camtasia. The downside with Camtasia is that it is an investment. But Camtasia comes with a lot of really cool stuff, so you can look into it and see if you want to use Camtasia, but that's what I'm using right now to film this video, and all my YouTube content is built inside of Camtasia. The editing, the pop-ups, you know, all of it is done inside of Camtasia, and it's about, I think, $200 or something, to maybe even $300 as a one-time fee. So you do have to invest in it but it's really easy to just film whatever it is that you want and you can decide if you wanna do like just video, uh, just audio, just screen record or kind of mix and match with all of those. So I highly recommend Camtasia, but if you're watching the wallet, totally fine, no worries. The other tool that I'd recommend is Loom. So Loom is a screen recorder that can be free, but I'd probably recommend that you invest uh, up to the 1250 per month. Uh, plan because with the free plan you only get up to five minutes of video so if your online course lessons are, are going to be under five minutes then cool you five minutes for each video that's all you need okay that's pretty cool but if you want to have unlimited recording time and unlimited videos then you would just invest in business. But what you can do is you can build out all of your different slides that you had. Then when you're all set up and you're ready to film, start your 14 day free trial on the business version, you know, and then you can just film your entire course in that 14 days and then you can end your free trial if you wanna do that. If you do that, you will have to download your Loom videos, otherwise they'll be stored inside of Loom and then you will have to start paying or if you cancel your account, you're gonna lose those videos. So make sure you download them, save them, and then you can upload those into Kajabi. Once you have all of your different course lessons done, you can go inside of your Kajabi account, pick on whichever course you have and then you can upload your video into your course and then we can even preview it as well and your video lesson will be uploaded to your course just like that. As you're building your online course, do remember that what is gonna make it sell and be a really transformational online course isn't the way that you film it per se. Lighting is important. Having good audio and good video where people can clearly see you and they can clearly hear you is really important, but that doesn't mean you have to invest a ton of money into expensive tools and software and different things like that. If you use Google Slides, you can hook it up to your USB microphone inside of Loom and record the audio over your slide presentation, you just present it. It's really, really simple. The biggest thing is that you've done good customer research with your audience. You can see the transformation that they are really dying for and that they want in their life. And then it's up to you to either create slide decks or film it on your phone, create good quality content that solves that problem and gives them that transformation. Because that's what people pay for, is a system. They want a transformation rather than just random buckshot content that they can find on YouTube. That is what's gonna make your course sell and be highly transformational for your students. Now, if you're thinking about trying out Kajabi, check this out. If you wanna take advantage of a free 30-day trial of Kajabi to play with the platform yourself, you can use my link profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi. This is an affiliate link, so I get a small percentage of your investment in Kajabi, but there's no extra cost to you compared to if you went through Kajabi's website yourself. All this does is simply support me and this channel for referring someone to Kajabi. But when you sign up with my link, I'm gonna give you instant access to a course I created called Kajabi Kickstart, which is gonna help you set up and launch your online business with Kajabi in that first 30 days. On top of that, when you're inside of Kajabi Kickstart, you will have access to a free 45 minute coaching session with me where you and I both get to deep dive into your Kajabi account and I will be there to answer any questions you have about Kajabi, marketing, or even making your first sale with the platform. All this is free and you can get instant access by going to profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi or clicking the link down in the description. 